bug fluid or bug food. Okay, so I think at this point we've unlocked the ability to fight a great jaggy. Let's just double check here. Oh, we may need to talk to some folks first to unlock the quests. So let's see what quests are available now. Okay, so we've gotten four requests. Uh, those are eight normal Jaggy, two eggs, <laughs> uh, five sushi fish, and one uh, bug guy. <laughs> I don't know his, his officially translated name. And let's just see if Cha-Cha uh, has a quest for us, because sometimes he'll want to talk. No. Okay, so I guess we'll keep making our way through the normal quests. And again, I'll be speeding them up in, in different fashions. Okay, and we're going to go all the way to area 6. So I think that's where they spawn. It's sad seeing a weapon require such a full commitment to fight just jaggies. But actually surviving my hits, getting knocked out of bounds. Something to note about the uh, charge axe is actually getting charged up all the way isn't necessarily a good thing. You'll see I'm actually bouncing. Um, it's because the uh, weapon has become overcharged. And when it does that, it's like, hey, idiot, charge your weapon. I'm not really sure how the mechanic works to balance the game. Um, I guess they just want to force you to use the axe mode too. I don't know if it's because the sword mode is too powerful. The axe mode is too powerful. I don't know. But it's a uh, probably the one downfall of the weapon, although it's not really a significant one. Loading doesn't take that long. You see here that this weapon actually uses uh, explosive um, concussion files. So, I mean, not only do those little file bursts there, file explosions, do a uh, decent amount of damage, but they also cause KO and exhaust as well. Uh, the only files that I've come across so far are uh, KO files and elemental files. Um, both of which, though, were pretty fun. Will show quite a bit of promise depending on what it is of course you're fighting. I would say of course the uh, exhaust files are definitely more multi multi-used, multi-functioned. <laughs> Looks like Cha Cha took that kill from me, okay. Secure your kills, guys. Okay, and hopefully this will be the last spot we'll have to go. 
finish off our jaggy problem. And there we go. So last Jaggy. Again, pretty straightforward. Something many of you probably haven't already done uh, dozens of times already in your Monster Hunter career. Killing some little minion monsters just to get through the beginning stages of the game. And of course, just a good time as any to start building up your various resources. Okay, so the next quest, uh, infamously? It may have caused me some problems in the past, but I believe I'm past it and I should be able to complete it with um, no significant issue. I mean, I'm only, um, <laughs> I'm only delivering an egg, right? What could go wrong? Nothing. Nothing could go wrong. Delivering an egg. Alright. Like, I'm not gonna run out of stamina. Fall. Drop the egg. I mean, I've killed thousands of monsters? Tens of thousands? I'm not sure. Many. Many monsters. If you count the little guys, probably definitely tens of thousands. All I need to do is run to Area 5 and run back. That's it. It's a straight shot. 3, 8, 10, 5. Not even. It's Gargwa eggs. It's not even... It's not even... Wyvern eggs. So we literally just have to take this back to camp with us. Now you will notice that there was a special... Uh, quest component there, and that was deliver a golden egg. You can do that, but it does not end the quest early for you. I think it gives you a higher chance of getting a steel egg, although I'm not 100% positive of that. Um, but certainly I think steel eggs are a quest reward in this quest. So if for whatever reason you need them for making uh, decorations or anything of the sort later on, uh, keep this quest in mind. Typically eggs are used in fate decorations, although I can't confirm it in this game. I haven't really checked it out. I would assume it's probably the same. They're usually used for something like that, although typically people just sell them because they need the money early on. Okay, so here's the hard part. We gotta get to area six. You have to hit a gargwa, gargawa, whatever. And uh, we have to do it without being seen by the gargwa, or gargawa, whatever, whatever their name is. It's a lot easier said than done. Especially when you start getting zones blocked off. You have to start running the long way. I guess they don't want to make it too easy, and I think they want you to kind of discover how to climb, because you can climb with eggs now. You can also fall or longer with an egg, although you can't fall 
an indefinite area of any, anything over a certain amount will still cause you to drop it unless you get feline lander. I'm just having some really bad memories. Uh, <laughs> the words casual, egg, scrub, I think they all come to mind. They all come flooding into my mind doing this quest again. <laughs> and um, it's not a great feeling. <laughs> so don't. All right, so this one has seen me, I think. This one over here hasn't. All right, looks like they both saw me. Um, so we have to leave because we can't, we can't just kill them. We have to surprise them. Unless they're surprised, it doesn't count. They'll just have to start carving their feathers and we don't, we don't need to do that. <laughs> it's, it's like the one quest I can't do. I just can't, I can't do it right. No matter how many times, no matter how many times I do it, when it comes to delivering eggs, I just can't. I can't get it together. It's a problem. <laughs> Just gotta wait here. You gotta wait behind a rock like a coward. <laughs> and sneak up on them because they'll come. You just have to wait. But they will come. We just kind of sit here and we'll just reflect. And so we'd like to rush up at them, because we see them. And even though my weapon is huge, they shouldn't have seen us yet. I'll just give them a little bit of time. It almost, almost reminds you a little bit of Metal Gear Solid. Except with, with big ostrich like ostrich like creatures. So you can even bounce on one of these guys. If you're not careful. Seems a little sad having to kill them. But we needed an egg. And now we have our egg. And so we're just going to do the best we can, come back the way we came, without getting a too disorientated, without getting hit, without running out of stamina. Any one of those things, and this egg, <laughs> this egg will break. I mean, this egg will break instantly. It's like, it's like the egg wants to be broken. You would think that. It would be easy to have that thought carrying this egg around if you saw how easily it broke at just about anything. Now, it is possible to go straight to one from here. Um, 
All I can remember is that when I tried to do that before, something broke my egg. So I'm actually going to go straight back to three. Okay, and so now there are mailings all over the place. That's, that's great. Especially because they really want our egg, too. But they can't have it. Cha-Cha's not even trying to defend me, by the way. I would like to point that out. He's just following me, waving his umbrella around. Okay, just get the egg to the red box. <sighs> We're done. Not terribly bad. Of course, I'm going to try and keep this all sped up if I can. Maybe not. Maybe I'll preserve this one in its full, unaltered glory just to redeem myself. It's a filthy egg casual. That egg was delivered perfectly. Also, there's our steel egg. Maybe that's a... I think that might be a guaranteed reward. I guess it's worth it considering all the time you spend on the quest.